Hi Pisces. It has been a while. I'm back. It is now currently 3.33 a.m. here. And I just decided, like, I just feel like right now I'll have to wake up out my sleep. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, you know what? I just feel like I need to do my reads for the month of October. Um, normally, these are spiritual hours. You know, so... I want to take full advantage of that, right? <laughs> um, let's talk. Okay. Ace of Swords comes out. All right. So you're gaining clarity on the situation. Um, the truth is being revealed. You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Let's go ahead and jump into it. This is going to be for October. What messages do you have for Pisces for the month of October? What messages do you have for Pisces for the month of October? Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages are there? This is a general read, guys, so it may or may not resonate, okay? Pisces. What message do you have for Pisces? What message do you have for Pisces? Okay, well, Pisces, y'all are being real tight. <laughs> like, okay, the world. Okay. The world. Yeah, it's like telling everybody. The Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands is here. Pisces, some of y'all may be going on a trip, a long distance trip, or you're at a distance from someone. With this world and the Eight of Wands, this could indicate travel. But I'm getting like... Okay, Nine of Swords. Okay. You're worried about something. About everybody finding out something. The death card. Okay. What's going on? Temperance. The three of wands. Five of Swords. All right, what's going on? Um, the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Okay. And the King of Wands. Okay. Let's talk. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but an opportunity. Okay. An opportunity. Six of Cups is here. Maybe you're looking back at the past. Maybe you found out some type of truth. From your past, something that had you worried here. It looks like you were trying to heal and find balance here in the past. But we got you being the five of swords energy. We got you being the five of swords energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I want to see why the nine of swords is here. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Pisces? The Empress. Okay. Some of you may have been worried um, about a pregnancy. Maybe some of you had a pregnancy scare. 
maybe some of you find out that you weren't with this death card here um but it may have been a pregnancy scare um some of you have been worried about like your looks how you come off to other people um your personality um some people are getting ready like to see the real you why is the empress here judgment yeah okay so maybe you're afraid to be judged for the real you okay um maybe you feel let down or put down i'm getting like the underdog but i'm getting i'm feeling like you're getting ready to take action because we got you waiting here and then we got you taking action okay so yeah like i'm getting like You were worried about being judged. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, the High Priestess, which is your energy um, here. Yeah, it's like you know the truth. Oh, wow. The High Priestess and the Ace of Swords is definitely like you know the truth. Everybody else doesn't. You know the real you. Um, but I feel, still feel like you're kind of, um, you know, thinking a lot about what other people, how other people perceive you. I feel like some of you have spiritual gifts with this high priestess and the ace of swords. Some of you um, are very, we already know that Pisces is very, very intuitive. Very, very has, you know... Um, you know, certain uh, gifts, spiritual gifts. Um, I think you're letting this shine through. <laughs> I think you're letting this shine through. I really feel like you're... Um, at one point, you might have been keeping it to yourself, but now I feel like you're busting out. We got the Ace of Wands here too. So it's like you're taking action. I'm getting like something that you're passionate about. There's a spiritual gift here, here, or your intuition is leading you to be truthful and honest with yourself. Why is the world card here? Yeah, on social media, the world and the page of swords. This is definitely the internet, okay? This is definitely the internet. Okay, so you're worried about how you're being perceived. Um, you may not... You may not be, like, worried about it, but it's a thought. It's like, you know, well, I'm trying to carry this image, so I need to do things this way, okay? Um, why is the death card here? The three of swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah, it's like you don't want to come off as miserable. Like you don't want to come off as sad. You don't want to come off. You, I feel like you're wanting to shift energy. You're wanting to come off as being successful with this King of Pentacles here. You want to come off as being strong. Um, like, you, you know, you want to come off like you're, like you're, you're getting this together. You have this in the bag. I feel like some of you guys have shifted. I'm, I'm getting that there's been a shift. Okay. There's been a shift. We got a uh, temperance here. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but this is very peaceful and healing energy. I'm getting like some of you guys are just being your natural selves. Yeah. The 10 of wands, like some of you, oh, look at this. The sun and the ten of cups. Yeah, some of you are done feeling burdened, okay? Some of you guys are definitely healing, okay? You're wanting to heal. You're wanting to find balance. And you're wanting to be genuinely, solely happy. So I'm getting, like, past energy. You may be feeling overwhelmed, but we got the temperance card. I feel like you found a balance in healing. Um, and I feel like with the sun card and the ten of cups, you're looking for a more positive vibe. I'm getting like good vibes. Good vibes off of this. I'm getting like a spiritual shift here. Why is the ten of wands here? 
Yes, some of you guys were starting to lose hope. Um, you know about your future plans. But I'm getting like prayer, a lot of praying, a lot of meditating because you were feeling burdened. Okay, now you have you have you have more faith in yourself. You have more faith in yourself. And it has to do a lot with social media and, and the internet. Um, social platforms, YouTube, um, whether you use TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you are making sure that, I just feel like you're believing in yourself. I just really get this great energy of like, people may not have known this about you, that you're spiritual, that you are, you have these certain gifts, you have this knowledge. The high priestess is also hidden knowledge. You know, she's normally very, she keeps things, you know, it's not that she's hiding them. She knows a lot, but she doesn't speak on it a lot. Okay. She's very wise. That's a natural gift um, for Pisces. Okay, so for future energy, we have you uh, waiting for your ships to come in with the Three of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords, okay. Yeah, I'm getting like not going anywhere. <laughs> not going anywhere. You're waiting for something to, you're waiting for something to come here, come in. Why is the Knight of Swords in? This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy. Yeah, I'm getting like... Um, there's people competing against you or there's a lot of people looking at you, at your success, okay? Um, I feel like you have some ships coming in or you got something coming in um, and it's coming in quick, okay, with that Knight of Swords energy. Five of Wands is a lot of people. This could be competitive, competitive energy, um, but a lot of people are looking at your you and all your glory with that nine of pentacles. It's like rags to riches with the five of pentacles. This is more of a, you know, feeling rejected or left out, um, not having everything that you need, just kind of barely making ends meet. And then we got this energy moving ahead, the nine of pentacles. Very, very successful. It's like I, I'm just getting like a shift for Pisces. And it's a great shift. It's a really great, great positive. It's a positive shift. It's positive. But the only thing that I'm trying to get, trying to figure out here is why do you feel like the Five of Swords energy? Why is that your energy? Why is the Five of Swords here? We got the Magician. The Hermit and the Knight of Wands that jumped out. The Magician is your is you manifesting. The Hermit card is a very spiritual card as well. Like that is a very soul. That's a very soul searching type vibe. Um, I'm just getting like you're going to pop out. Like you possibly went on a hiatus. You possibly were in the cut manifesting okay working your magic and then with the knight of wands it's like you pop back out the five of swords though why is the five of swords here why is the five of swords energy here i feel like this watch i get i just get the five of swords is you know defeated feeling defeated oh you may feel like um i'm getting that a new opportunity has presented itself for you and you're moving forward. Okay, maybe you were stuck before. You were stuck before, but you're moving forward. And I feel like you're coming for people's necks. Like, it's like they look down on you. Um, but I'm feeling like a come up. Like, they look, I'm just getting like you guys have risen from something. Like, you guys were possibly at your lowest, and then it's like, boop, it ain't that no more. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the Five of Swords here? The moon, you guys' energy. 
But the moon and the five of swords energy together is very malicious type of energy. We got the ten of pentacles <laughs> and the four of cups. Okay, so this is someone, uh, this could be family oriented, like people in the family. You could, you know, have, a, you know, some people in your family might leave a sour taste in your mouth. You may feel like someone is jealous of you. I'm getting like, some, like you could feel like somebody is jealous. Okay, I'm getting that. Maybe there's a new idea or you being very creative with that Ace of Wands energy. Um, maybe you're working your spiritual gifts. You're working like your intuition is on point. You're you're manifesting. Um, and you may just feel like there's a lot of eyes on you, especially here with the world and the Page of Swords. You definitely, you know, um, are being more social. Um, posting more pictures, uh, you know, doing, being more active socially. Um, I'm just getting like this real spiteful energy though. Jealous. Why is the moon card here? Hidden agendas. Yeah. See, someone here could be getting exposed or you're exposing yourself more, um, <clears throat> You're exposing yourself more. I got the Queen of Wands. Could be Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting like you got two sides to you. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. A uh, Leo could be uh, watching you. Um, could be feeling like, you know, competing with you. But I'm getting that as well is that you have two different sides to you. Like, you got this highly spiritual side, but then you got this side that'll pop off and pop out. <laughs> I'm just getting it. And then we got how others are viewing you as a seven of pentacles. So they see that you've been planting seeds. Some of you guys have been investing. Um, Why well, is the seven of pentacles here? The six of swords. Like I'm, I'm, like, I'm getting wondering where you've been. You guys may have been kind of like hiding out and working on yourself. Yeah, because somebody, you know, I'm getting like, uh, there's been like a conversation, like people been talking about you, bringing you up, and people like been wondering what you got going on, where you been at. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, the, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Six of Pentacles is, you know, the give and take card. Um yeah, like I'm getting like um, the Six of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Five of Pentacles and the Devil card. This is really negative energy, okay? Uh, or there's a Capricorn involved. But give me some more insight on the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting like people have just been wondering what you had going on. Like, I'm getting that some of you guys are married or were married with the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. All three of these cards together symbolize, you know, a happy relationship or a long term relationship or a marriage here. I'm getting Taurus's energy as well. But I'm just getting, yeah, like, yeah, see. Some of you may have gotten a divorce or you're separated or something ended and people are have been wondering like what's been going on with you since this, you know, ending. People thought that this was going to devastate you, that this was going to bring you down. Yeah, something about your past. Okay, so people were thinking that this is going to bring you down, but it didn't. I feel like you guys had a major comeback here. I feel like some of y'all took a break, went on a, you know, a soul searching journey. Um, to find yourself, King of Pen King, sorry, King of Cups. Okay, now you're manifesting. Now you're manifesting. Okay, and people weren't sure how you're doing it, or you know, people weren't sure how you how you bounce back. Okay, yeah, because usually maybe you do things together in a group, or you do things with your partner. Um, yeah, you work together with your partner. Four of Wands, yeah. 
So they're trying to just figure, like, you know, been wondering what you have going on. Now, in the hopes and fears, we got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords energy. Ooh, okay. The Lovers and the Eight of Swords. <laughs> okay, so we got the Justice card here. Uh, Libra's energy. But this is also karmic energy. This is also finding balance and, and having justice in the situation. Um, some of you may have, you know, once upon a time been involved in a third party situation or a relationship where someone was being sneaky or, you know, has been unfaithful. Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Hermit. Okay. There's a lot of mental thoughts here. A lot of thoughts. Like this is, this is, um, you're doing a lot of thinking. Okay. You've been observing. I'm getting an observer as well. Like you're processing a lot of thoughts. Like you've been processing all of this. I feel like you are ready to take action. Okay, I feel like you're done with the you're done with being in hermit mode. You're ready to pop out now. Why is the King of Wands here? The Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot and the six of wands. So you're going, you're moving forward, progressing to Six of Wands is the celebrity card. Six of Wands is success. Six of Wands is meeting your goals. And with that Queen of Pentacles here, this could be a financial goal that you have reached, okay? And I feel like you're taking action. Um, you're taking action. Like, I feel like a lot of you are investing. A lot of you are taking things to the next level. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Yes, some some of you are uh, getting getting ready to ha have like a new car. I'm getting that as well. The Ace of Cups and the um, Eight of Wands and the Chariot. This is very much so picking up the pace. I feel like a, you're getting ready to take action on something. Whatever it is that you're getting ready to take action on is going to move forward. I'm getting a lot of fast pace. It's going to take off. Something is getting ready to take off for you guys. Why is the chariot card here? I'm getting compliments, comments. If this is social media wise, you're going to be getting a lot of comments, um, a lot of likes. Yeah, see, you're tired of just, you. we got the four of swords and nine of pentacles. You're tired of things talk, being moving slow at a snail's pace. You're ready to go ahead and put yourself out there, okay? I feel like <clears throat> you may, you know, like I said, the moon and the sun is definitely things that, that, <laughs> that are in the dark is coming to the light, okay? The five of swords energy is very much so like, like I said, uh, it can go a few different ways. Like there's like a jealousy energy, envious energy, um, spiteful type energy or doing anything um, to win. Like, you know, willingness to bring anybody down with you to get to that top. Um, but I don't I don't feel like that's a good energy to be in when you have so much success coming for you ahead. Like. I feel like you guys are on to something big, okay? You've done the inner work. I feel like you, some of you have done the inner work, definitely. Like, found balance and peace. And just vibe off of that energy. Vibe off of that energy because what you got coming towards you is way bigger than, you know, looking at the next person or, or what they think and how. You got something going on that's way bigger than that, okay? So... I love that energy. Love, 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 love that energy for Pisces. For sure, for sure. All right, so let's see what we got here. Any advice for Pisces? Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces, please. Oh, 
All right. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So some of you are um, getting ready to find your tribe. <laughs> You're about to get connections. You're about to be connected to the right people. Okay. Yeah. See, keepers of the earth, you are not alone. <laughs> You're not alone on this journey. Give me another card for Pisces, please. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay. So are you setting boundaries? Do you need to set boundaries? Star seeds. Some of you are star seeds. What lights you up? Okay. So yeah, most definitely you have to set boundaries. Okay. You can't let any and everybody in on your energy. People are in energy vampires. You got all type of you know, you got all types of energies out here. You can't let people suck up all your energy to where you have none for yourself. I feel like you guys have something very, very big that you're doing on social media um, that is going to possibly bring in a coin that's possibly going to bring you success. Okay. And it's going to happen quickly. It's like it's going to manifest like that. Okay. It's going to manifest just like that. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're tapping into your spiritual, um, you're tapping into your spiritual gifts, okay? So you have to be careful with your energy. Everybody isn't deserving of it, okay? And I got break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future, okay? So some of you are breaking away from old patterns. Some of you, we got star mother here. So some of you were raised and brought up by, you know, um, going off of what you were taught, your mother, things that your mother taught you. Okay, maybe now you're realizing that some of the things that you were brought or things that were tradition, some of you are breaking cycles. Okay, you're going to be the first one in your family to break the cycle. You're going to be the first one in the family to, you know, be do something different. You're going to be the first in your family to do something out of the ordinary extraordinary okay because you broke the cycle you broke the chain okay i love this reading i feel like this reading is so pisces like i i so dig this reading okay possibly like one of the best readings i've seen with pisces in a while okay so um you guys let me know how you feel about the reading make sure to hit the thumbs up guys and hit the like button all right and i will chat with you guys on another note, ciao.